So what you do when you want to use this for you guys to use is you turn this button on and usually this light isn't green and it's not on so you have to wait for the water to heat up and that's the button um, that's when it turns green and it lets you know it's heated up next is I want two shots worth this is deeper so it's you can fit two shots in here this one's a little um, this one's not as deep because it's only one shot you pack coffee in. Okay, so you stick this in here. There's little grooves right here that help it fit in right here. So I find that little groove and it slides right in. Now this will fall out very easily so there is a little latch right here to just kind of flip over. It doesn't snap it on you actually have to hold your finger down on it to keep it from falling off and use muscles which price your finger down real hard but you don't really have to use that it's more for just keeping it there to sit and then um, you're gonna have this out because this is gonna go inside the milk frother next we're gonna take our coffee take this little scooper we're gonna get some in it and put it in there. Put it right there. Next, what you do is you come over and you use the tamp the thing to tamper it down. You can press it, or I also have see how it presses it, flattens it down. I also have this, which you can do. You use the smaller circle. You just press it in it and press it down. And it kind of holds it. And then you want to fill it up. So you grab another scoop of coffee. And then we're going to... And there it goes. Okay, and now what you do next is you put it in there. Now I'm going to turn the phone upside down so you can see. So you do that. You take it, you put it, it fits in sideways. Make sure this thing that you flipped up, flip it back down because it won't. When it's flipped up like this it won't go in there so you got to flip it down before you put it in there now you make sure it fits in there once it goes up you turn it to the side you turn it till it gets straight Mine is new, so it's really hard to turn. So once it gets in there, it starts to get really tough. But just hold on to the side and start to pull it over slowly till it straightens out. Now, I use this for my measuring. I'm getting a shot glass, though, for espresso. Now, if you wanted to use this and just do one shot, pack one shot, then you're going to fill it up to the one-fourth line right there where my thumb is at. If you want two shots, you go up to the half line, a half a line, and that's two shots worth. So I fit that under there. It's a very, very short and small. See how small that is compared to my cup? My cup will not fit under there. You have to put something like this really short under there. And then the next thing you do is you press and hold this button. It is not automatic. So you actually have to watch it get filled up to the half shot line or the one shot line and then let go. It won't do it automatically.
Sorry, when I was done, I stopped it and I poured it in there. I just poured it right into my cup. So now it's all done. So that's what my two shots looks like. A lot more than the coffee shop I go to, so I'm going to kind of ask them why does it look like I'm only getting one shot. Next, we're going to froth milk. So I'm going to take half and half, only pour a little bit in. I learned that the hard way. So I'll only do it a little bit at a time because it makes it rise. And then what you do, online it says to let it shoot out water first for a second to get it ready. So I'm going to have this right here just to prepare so I don't have a whole bunch of water being spilled everywhere. And then I turn it on. Okay, now that I know it's ready to go, I stick it in there. And I press it. And then you want your thermometer in there to go to 160 because I like mine really hot. and I didn't put that much in there. And the temperature's rising as well. And I like to clean it off. When you're done, you this thing twists off. I'm not going to do it right now because it's too hot. But right here, twists off and comes out so you can rinse it out. And you make sure that light's always on. That's what gave me the ability to steam. And that's what it looks like afterwards. So now all I gotta do is just add some sugar to it and pour my milk in. But I'm gonna keep my milk in there to stay hot. And that's it. Then when you're done, you just turn it off. You untwist this what it looks like afterwards. I like to flip this up because it's extra hot. Now you can wait to do that since we're at home, but it's hot so don't touch the metal. Just going to bang it out in the... I hold this down or else it will fall in. People are sleeping. I don't want to be too loud. And that's it. That's how you make coffee.